For some of you, you have maybe heard about the five love languages, and uh, the famous Dr. Gary Chapman uh, can be credited for this monumental work. And uh, anybody who's worth their salt in marriage and family has coached people to understand the five love languages, and, and here they are. Uh, there's what's called acts of service, where I simply will do something for my spouse to show them that I love them. There's quality time where, where I, I just lock out everything else on my schedule, shut my cell phone down, and I'm just with them. Then there's uh, words of affirmation where I'm simply writing a note or saying things that really build them up. Uh, then there's gifts. Gifts where I, I, I know them well and, I, and they love to receive the gifts and, and so I just, just lavish them with something that, oh, that's special. And the last thing is physical touch. And we're not talking necessarily about sexuality. We're talking about the hugs and the closeness and putting your arm around the person and, and the sense of being connected physically. Some people just love the sense of, of just being close and arm around you and holding hands and hand on the knee, those kind of things. And so there's five different love languages that people have. And, and when you understand what your spouse's primary love language is and love them in a language they understand, your effort connects so much better so understand your spouse's love language and play into it as often as you can.